Welcome back to the to top eight of the RCS tournament um, analysis. In today's episode, we're going to be facing off against uh, Time IO Time Low Demi. Sorry, it's a strange name. I'm just going to call him uh, Demi, I guess. <laughs> um, he's playing Invoke Shadal, which is normally like a pretty dangerous matchup just because Winda can be pretty oppressive for the most part. Um, but it actually ends up going pretty well for me. My opponent's going to open Gamma, uh, Gamma, Wendy, Super Poly, Gamma, Hedgehog. So, Gamma, uh, one, two go, technically three go second cards, but like two of them are the same card. I'm going to open Changeover, uh, Ash, Nocto, Black Metal, Droplet. Droplet is definitely what you want to see against Shadal. Uh, just to stop like a construct or a window from resolving. So he's gonna go first. Wendy set super poly pass. I'm gonna normal summon black metal. Make striker striker effect. And he's gonna super poly off Wendy to make Nocto. Uh, search black metal dragon. This isn't actually as bad as it sounds. I'm gonna ash the effect of Wendy. And because he has a monster, he's turned off his gamma, which is gonna be perfect for me. Because I'm going to use uh, Discard Trap to send Chamber. And then Droplet the Ravine. And Banish Nocto to summon Red MD. And then Special Summon the Chamber. Chamber Effect. Search the Trap. And then I'm going to add them both back. Make Show. And run over Winda. Then I'm going to set the trap. So I end it really well. You know, show, trap. Um, he's going to draw Ash for turn. I'm going to use Show's effect to add chamber. He's going to Ash chamber. Set hedgehog. Bounce chamber. Yeah, and this this is pretty much like where I win the game. Uh, I'm going to search another trap. Go into Pisty for more damage. Bring back chamber. Change over. And I'm going to turn the chamber into a house dragon mate and OTK for 6-3. So um, my opponent opened pretty poorly, but also I think he opened... I don't think he opened pretty poorly. I just don't think he used his cards like as best as he could. Um, I, I felt like he could have used Gamma somewhere. Uh, maybe, maybe if it were on the second chamber activation, it probably wouldn't have gotten as bad as it did. But I don't know. He didn't open that great. So now he's going to go open Super Poly, Paleozoic, um, Solemn Strike, Knight. Uh, like, Knight's pretty dead, but like the rest of these cards are pretty oppressive. Uh, not, not so much double Super Poly. I don't think uh, he has the card advantage to resolve the card twice, but Strike, Dynamiscus, and a single Super Poly are pretty good. Um, at this point, I'm kind of like, this is a lot of trap cards. Um, I wasn't expecting that. So he's going to go for the strike. I'm going to Hospi, Revive, and summon out the Nocto, and get Super Polyed right here for Furious. Uh, this is kind of bad, because uh, the last card being Dynamiscus punishes like the only extender I have. Um, so I'm going to go over and take 6k. From a direct attack. And I need to draw something crazy. Like. Ash is not it. Right. Like. I'm going to. Guard Dragon. He's going to Furious. I'm going to Droplet. And he's going to Dynamiscus. And. Yeah. It's unfortunate. I think if I had drawn literally any other uh, Dragon card. I might have had that. But it's just. It just happens sometimes. Alright. So the last match. He's going to open Meltdown. So there are Invoked cards in here. Uh, double Ash, this is unfortunate, and uh, Wendy, I'm going to open one for one, Chamber, Nocto, Droplet, Pross, like this hand is. I'm comboing no matter what he says, and he has no say in the matter. I'm going to start with Prosperity, Banish 3, and he Ashes that, and he has sealed his fate. Um, Ash was like the only thing I really needed to worry about here. Um, I mean, Gamma would have been pretty bad. I'm going to get my Black Metal Dragon. Actually, Gamma probably would have been really good right here. Now that I think about it. 
I probably should have played around that a little better instead of going a little greedy with my combo. Then again, it's it depends because the way I did it this way plays around Nib, but plays into Gamma, and I know he was playing Gamma because I saw him discard it game one. So perhaps I should have played around Gamma instead of the Nib that I wouldn't have seen. Hard to say, really, because Nib can be side decked in. Um, I don't know. You guys can decide for yourself whether or not I should have played around Gamma or Nib there. I chose to play around Nib. Pisty effect. Get Striker. And I'm going to summon out Trish. Trish usually going to do her thing. Get Squamata. And I'm going to banish Entis. Um, he only played it at 1 as far as I recall. Uh, I can't see his extra deck. I'm pretty sure he banished. I banished it because I didn't want him to force something with Nadir Servant. Um... Because I don't, there's no reason to banish, um, I don't think he was playing Starving Venom. I'm pretty sure he only played, I'm sorry, because it's been a while, the the Boral Furious. And my, my board doesn't play into that card anymore. The Guard Dragons are gone. So all I needed to do was just get rid of whatever, like, could actually stop me. And then I'm going to set and... Now, right now we have gonna, he's going to draw Nadir. It's a pretty nice draw. Gonna do nurse, nurse effect, parlor, parlor effect, send the trap, but he's gonna ash. Bad ash, personally, I always feel like you ash this, um, but it's fine. And then he already has Alistair. I'm gonna seal. Uh, bounce back the Alistair and go into Drago. And that's, uh, that's pretty good there, right? You, you think. And then he goes into Ragin. And I was like, he plays this. He actually plays this. I wasn't expecting him to be playing this. But he does. So, Drago's going to be outed. And then Ragin also can force show. I let it resolve. Um... Because and I'm in my mind, I feel like if I negate, I I I I think show is just better off. Where like, I didn't want show to, I didn't want. How do I put it? I felt like if I negated this, I should have. I it would have been bad just because show would have been sent back to the extra deck and I would have had a house that didn't really do anything, and I want show in circulation. But in hindsight, maybe it would have been better. I'm not entirely sure, to be completely honest. Because he destroys it anyway. But he already used both of his invocations. So that I'm, there was like no way I was worried he was going to banish it for Agaioides. But like, I don't know. Maybe it would have been better if I negated that. Now that I think about it, I can't really remember where my headspace was when I decided not to negate it. I don't know. I, I can't think of why I didn't negate that. Droplet on the Ecclesia. Set Schism. Cosmic top deck was sweet here. <laughs> I'm going to show. I mean, change over back nurse. First out, force out Agaioides. Nurse effect. Just going to Schism. Chain Cosmic. We're going to get rid of that. Yeah, that was that was pretty, like, ridiculous. And then I'm going to tidying. I'm going to battle phase. Summon back show. Parlor. Attack over your Agioides. Swing into Ragin. I'm going to chain the gate. Special summon, slam over Ecclesia. So yeah, I probably I don't know I probably wouldn't have negated there. I would have just taken it because um, now I get a, an attack and a pop that I otherwise would not have gotten. And then I'm going to Lorepar, Lorepar House pop, Sand tidying. He's gonna get Super Poly, 
make seal, chamber, lower par, show, set the trap. Yeah, like this, this was, this was kind of like turned on its head. <laughs> it's funny. That cosmic top deck was real smooth though. That was complete luck. Granted, he opened pretty insane. Like his six card was also Nadir going second. Would have been way worse had I uh, not banished it. The en I mean, yeah, banished the Entis. Just complete. Ugh. And then I'm gonna get all my maids back in the standby phase. And so now all my opponent has is a super poly. Um, the best thing he can do here is try for a mecha play. Not really going to be all that strong because I know his hand. So he super polys for Mechaba. But it just. Then he invocates and I tag show. And he goes into another Mechaba. And then I trap, bounce, and he has no. Uh, he has no negates. So it's kind of. This was the end of the game for sure. So the takeaway here is. I honestly just think this is, uh, I think the Invoke Should All deck is pretty strong. Um, not necessarily sure about his ratios, because that second game he was playing a lot more traps than I was expecting him to. So there could be, like, ratio issues with his deck. Um, I don't know how I feel about this deck going forward. I think Winda is, like, the only good thing about it. Um, if Winda doesn't stick, it kind of, like falls it's it's got a really good grind game but it's really just wind or bust granted like i again i top decked saki on that cosmic so i can't necessarily like pat myself on the back too hard here um sometimes you, i mean that's just the game we play sometimes you just get lucky right anyways that's going to be it for the video please leave a like comment and subscribe i'll see you in the next one we should only have top four and then the uh, top two and the finals, I believe. This is top eight, so not too much. Not too much left. Have a good one.